Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Thursday, May 16th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know, 38 years ago, today, in 1986, the action blockbuster, Top Gun, was released in American theaters, and it made Tom Cruise an international star. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning it's rainy and feels like 55 degrees with 12 mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 8.00 and it will rise again tomorrow at 5.20. It looks like we're in for a chance of showers today. And it will be mostly cloudy with a high near 64 and wind of six to 10 mile per hour. Chance of precipitation is 50% with new rain amounts between a 10th and quarter of an inch possible. Tonight, a chance of showers mainly before 11 p.m. Mostly cloudy with a low around 52. For all you beach runners out there, the first high tide Thursday will be just before 6.30 a.m. with a low tide just after 1 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 54 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, this weekend will be mostly cloudy with highs in the low 60s. Friday will be partly sunny with a high near 63. Sunday brings a chance of showers, mainly after 1 p.m. Monday will be partly sunny with a high near 61 and breezy conditions. And Tuesday starts partly sunny with a high near 68. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crates. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning send you. In local news, the Boston Pops is set to celebrate the 50th anniversary of its fireworks spectacular on July 4th, featuring Broadway sensation Kelly O'Hara. The event, marking a tradition that began nearly a century ago, will also host the Mavericks, Darling Love, and the Singing Surgeons from the U.S. Air Force Band. The annual celebration, enriched with a fireworks display since 1974, highlights Boston's historical significance in American democracy. Festivities are scheduled at the Hatch Shell on the Charles River Esplanade, starting at 8 p.m. with fireworks at 10.30. This iconic event remains a pivotal part of Boston's cultural offerings, free to the public, embodying the city's vibrant community spirit. Now on to sports. University of Southern California spent nearly $20 million on Lincoln Riley during his first season as head football coach, according to federal tax returns. Riley received nearly $10 million in base salary and $9.6 million in other compensation, including a $4.5 million buyout to the University of Oklahoma. Former defensive coordinator Alex Grinch also hired from Oklahoma, earned a total of over $4.3 million. USC additionally paid nearly $4 million in severance to former coach Clay Helton. Overall, USC spent $28 million on coaching salaries in 2022. In local sports, the Red Sox at home lost to the Rays 4-3. And the Celtics at home beat the Cavs 113 to 98 and head to the Eastern Conference Finals. Tonight, the Red Sox are at home to take on the Rays. 
In top news, in the first quarter, Berkshire Hathaway made several significant changes to its portfolio. It completely exited its position in HP, selling about 23 million shares and reduced its holdings in Apple, Chevron, and Paramount Global. Specifically, Berkshire sold 160 million Apple shares, 56 million Paramount shares, and 3 million Chevron shares. Meanwhile, Berkshire increased its investment in Liberty Sirius XM by buying 35 million shares and also acquired 26 million shares of insurer Chubb, now holding a 6% stake worth, approximately $6.6 billion. In business news, Soros Fund Management, founded by billionaire George Soros, sold its entire stake in New York Community Bank during the first quarter, divesting over $15 million. This move came amid a Fitch Ratings downgrade of the company into deeper junk territory, with the bank shares down 64% year-to-date. Conversely, Soros Fund Management increased its holdings in Google stock, adding over 270,000 shares to reach nearly 1.5 million shares, valued at around $225 million. In other news about this bank, news broke they are selling $5 billion worth of loans to J.P. Morgan. Interesting. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now 66,000. Ethereum is 3,000. And Solana is $160. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Dopamine drives us to undertake difficult tasks, such as marathons or challenging work projects even without immediate rewards. This chemical messenger in our brains is linked to processing rewards and motivation. While dopamine is often associated with pleasure-seeking behaviors like smartphone use, it also encourages us to value and pursue challenging activities. Psychologist Michael Inslick calls this the effort paradox, where we sometimes prefer hard work over easy, finding more satisfaction in tasks that require perseverance. This intrinsic motivation can foster a balanced, sustainable pursuit of challenges and rewards. And in entertainment news, Netflix will pay $150 million to air two NFL games on Christmas Day this year, featuring the Kansas City Chiefs first Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens vs. Houston Texans. This is part of a three-year deal with the NFL, ensuring Netflix airs at least one Christmas Day game in the 2025 and 2026 seasons. The Chiefs, led by stars Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, will face the Steelers, potentially quarterbacked by Russell Wilson or Justin Fields. The Ravens-Texans game showcases MVP Lamar Jackson against offensive rookie of the year C.J. Stroud. Well, all righty, folks. It's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the opening credits of the most quotable movie of all time, Top Gun. On March 3rd, 1969, the United States Navy established an elite school for the top 1% of its pilots. Its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who graduated were the best fighter pilots in the world. They succeeded. Today, the Navy calls it Fighter Weapons School. 
The Flyers call it Top Gun. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.